Did you know on the 13th of June 2023, the Clockwork Cannon received a buff? That was a DPS increase of 25%, and the ammo increased from 3 to 6, and a 7% increase in rocket speed. The Clockwork Cannon was introduced to Pixel Gun 3D in the 16.4.0 updates, and according to the wiki page, by default, it is a legendary with a base damage of 129. If you upgrade it to mythical, it's 148. Not to make you feel old, but that update was actually four years ago when they introduced the Toy Story map to Pixel Gun 3D. Welcome everyone, my name is Pixel Echo. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Quick question, do you enjoy me bringing the history and the facts about these specific weapons? how old they are, etc. Let me know in the comments section. I just think it's interesting to see how old some of these weapons are starting to get. We know over the past six months, the Sock Bomber has dominated Pixel Gun 3D with the looping shot, ricochet, and area damage. It was recently nerfed, so players decided to start using this, which is the Temple Guardian, which has the attributes of looping shot, contact, detonator, and area damage. This one has not been nerfed yet. Guess what attributes the Clockwork Cannon has? Yes, looping shot, ricochet, and area damage. Practically the exact same as the Sock Bomber. Now, you guys in the comments section said, you know what, Echo? This weapon was buffed. Can you check it out? So that's what we're doing today. There is a promo code in today's video. It has 300 uses. It contains gems and coins. There's eight characters to find. Go and find it. Before we play any games, I want to see the speed of this. <laughs> Look at this. Look how fast it gets over there. That is absolutely insane. Now, I do have this at Mythical because I upgraded it like years ago. Probably like two or three or maybe even four years ago. But let's just like see how fast the bullet gets down to the bottom. Look at that. You can see how crazy this weapon is going to be. Now, on top of that, I'm using the homing missile perfect module combination. So on this map with Bubble Boy, it might be incredibly broken. So what we'll do here is start off in a death match with the Bubble Boy attributes or the perfect module combinations. And we'll see how we get on. Because technically speaking, this should just be as good as the sock bomber now right gotta use my bubble boy but i just wasted a little bit but again because this can bounce off every single wall that's what makes this kind of weapon scarily op now this combination is not as op as or as fast as the other one because we had like the the speed module related things last time but again it's still op what's up man how you doing <laughs> clockwork your name you're named after my weapon actually here you go got him Another guy behind me and back as Bubble Boy straight to second place here. So for a map like this, we should do okay. Second place. Come on. X-ray modules. Get this going. Catch it. Sorry. Boom. Another guy coming down there. Hit it once. Twice. It's got it's got six bullets now instead of it the four that it previously had. So we're now the bubble boy. That's the kind of thing that people won't like about this. I'm gonna nuke that down there. Might get me some kills. So it's a little bit slow with this perfect module combination. So I will try both of them in today's video. Hello. Sorry. Going back as Bubble Boy. Three, two, one. Straight down there. No, you've got weapons that can penetrate. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm still not. Wait, I was in first place a second ago. Who's taking my top spot from me, boy? Put that down there. Keep going down there. Bubble Boy doing what it can. Of people who have combinations that can penetrate what I'm using. Better echo. Better. What's the score looking like? They're on 800. Okay. Okay. Down there. Nuke. Get that nuke in there, echo. Bro. Somebody's gadget is really popping off against me here. Back to the bubble boy. This guy's got anti-modules to me. Yeah, so a lot of people have anti-modules to this combination. Somebody is using a sock bomber still, though. To be fair. Get him. Straight down there. No. Try to hold this lead. Keep it going. To be fair, the fire rate is not as powerful 
as the sock bomber used to be, but this weapon's still pretty powerful now. One. Seems to be like a one or a two shot kill by the looks of things. Some players are a one shot kill, some people are not. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. I can just fire some shots though, and even though when I die, like they just explode after. Like I said, it's like an Easter egg. Put that in there. Guy behind me somewhere. Put that in there. Let's go back as Bubble Boy now. Feel a little bit more protected. He's also Bubble Boy too, so my explosions are not gonna do nothing against him. Keep it going. Yes! No! Oh, how did I die by you? Oh, okay. Maybe bleeding or something. Put that in there. I just spawned with you again. A drupal of death. For nuking it. I kind of didn't want to use my nuke there, but oh well. Where you at? Nobody there. Keep it going, Echo. Straight down there. Let's go. Getting a few kills. There you go, bro. That explosion right at the end. I should. Should secure the dub with this now. Now we're starting to get multi-kills. This room, it's small and perfect for it. It should be enough. No! I mean, 2,000 score. So I actually think this module is really good for this kind of map. I think if I'm to use or play a bigger map, I'm going to have to switch the modules. But how did it turn out in the end? There you go. I took off towards the back end of that video. So we've switched out the modules. Let's see how this does. Let's see how it compares on this map. Because this used to be one of those maps that was able to be controlled by a sock bomber. I'm going to have to deal with some bunny rabbits in this one by the looks of things, though. Get them out of there. There you go. There's a dude chilling there. Let's go. So the fire rate of this and the bullet speed of this is so much better than the other perfect module combination. So we'll see how this treats us. Shall we, Real Echo? What's up, man? How you doing today? There you go. There's another kill. The X-ray modules are going to be huge here for me. The X-ray gadget, sorry. That over there. Pick that up. These guys are still there. He's coming through. He's trying to anyway. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, bro. I got them spawny trapped here a little bit. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Can we pull up a double? We can. I love your videos. Thank you for the love, man. I appreciate you. I'm sorry anybody who's against me while I'm doing some experimenting at this moment in time. I'm trying to see what you guys said in the comment section, if it's true or not. This thing is better than the sock bomber after after it was fixed. No, bro, bro, shooting me through the walls. All right, you know what that means, don't you? <laughs> we go all the way around, bro. Put that over there. There's one. There's two. Double kills. Got to be careful, though, because he's still firing it through the wall. Did we get him? I hit him. Can't wait to watch the video. <laughs> you guys just know me so well, huh? You guys just know me so well. There's a guy here. There's dudes there. Got a bunny rabbit. There we go. There we go. Got to hide while we reload. Keep this going, Echo. We got these guys spawn trap. If I got that shot off, that could have been a huge, huge kill. He's still going for that through the wall, isn't he? Still going through through the wall. We got to get rid of this guy. One more. We got rid of him. <laughs> They're literally staying in spawn. Like, we have them trapped. One of them's now using a sock bomber on my team. So, that's going to make matters worse. Look, he's got sock bomber and I've got this. Wow. Now, that is a very scary combination to be playing against, bro. For sure. That is not what you want to be playing against. I'm going to go around the back if I can. Got you. I'm sorry, brother. We got to do some experimenting here. 44-23. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I missed that other shot. Missed it. So, yeah, I think I do prefer the modules that are faster, which is which is these ones. It just seemed to be a little bit better for me. Especially on a bigger map anyway. Bro, I didn't see you. Did not see that guy. Come on, teammates. I reckon I got a good, like, 20 kills in this, though. Buy that. Get him once. Dead. That guy was still chilling there. I can't seem to escape this spawn trap a little bit. Here we go. We got him. Didn't get him. It didn't get him. 24 kills. Let's go. I want to try and get 25. If it's daytime in the UK... It is daytime when I'm recording this video, brother. It is. Still didn't kill him. That killed him. One more time. One more echo. That's the 25th kill. 
it made it a little bit harder, to be honest with you, because these guys were not pushing. They were not pushing for the middle. I generally think if there was two competitive teams that were very evenly matched, that would have been a lot more kills. In case you're worried if this is going to be the Sock Bomber all over again, it's not. The Sock Bomber at this current moment, even after nerf, is still better than this. However, this has been given a second chance at life and you might see a couple other people using it. But it looks like the combination of looping shots, ricochet, and area damage seems to be OP combinations. So if there's any other weapons with these attributes, let me know in the comment section because we might find some hidden gems. See you in the next video.